Once upon a time, in a tranquil village nestled amidst the rolling hills of ancient Japan, there lived a wise Zen master renowned for his profound wisdom and compassionate heart. His name was Master Takeshi, and his presence was like a gentle breeze that brought peace to all who encountered him. One crisp morning, as Master Takeshi meditated under the shade of a majestic cherry blossom tree, a curious young boy named Kenta approached him. Kenta was filled with questions about life, eager to understand its mysteries and seek guidance from the revered master. Master Takeshi, Kenta began timidly, what is the secret to a good life? Master Takeshi opened his eyes, his gaze gentle yet penetrating. He smiled warmly at Kenta and motioned for him to sit beside him on the soft grass. Ah, Kenta, he said in his calm, melodic voice. The secret to a good life lies not in the complexities of the world, but in the simplicity of our hearts. Kenta listened intently, his young mind eager to absorb every word that fell from the master's lips. You see, my dear boy, Master Takeshi continued, a good life is not measured by wealth or status, but by the richness of our relationships, the depth of our compassion, and the sincerity of our actions. Kenta nodded thoughtfully, taking in the wisdom of the master's words. Imagine, Master Takeshi said softly, a life where kindness flows freely like a river, where each word spoken and each deed done is infused with love and understanding. That, Kenta, is the essence of a good life. As the day passed into evening, Master Takeshi shared with Kenta stories of his own journey tales of hardship and joy of moments of doubt and moments of clarity. Through each story, Kenta learned valuable lessons about resilience, empathy, and the importance of staying true to one's innermost values. Master Takeshi, Kenta asked earnestly as the sun dipped below the horizon. How can I live such a life? How can I embody the wisdom you have shared with me today? The master smiled gently, his eyes twinkling with a profound understanding. It begins, he said, with mindfulness and awareness. Pay attention to the world around you, the laughter of children, the rustling of leaves, the kindness in a stranger's smile. Be present in each moment, for that is where true living resides. Kenta nodded, his heart swelling with a newfound sense of purpose. And remember, Master Take, she added, to cultivate gratitude for all that life offers you. Even in the face of adversity, there is always something to be thankful for a lesson learned, a friendship gained, a sunrise that paints the sky with hues of gold and pink. With these words, Master Takeshi bid Kenta farewell, knowing that the seed of wisdom planted in the young boy's heart would blossom and bear fruit in the years to come. Years passed, and Kenta grew into a kind-hearted young man, respected for his compassion and wisdom. He followed the teachings of Master Takeshi faithfully, spreading kindness wherever he went and touching the lives of all who crossed his path. One day, as Kenta sat beneath the same cherry blossom tree where he had first met Master Takeshi, a young child approached him with a curious gleam in his eye. Sir, the child asked timidly, what is the secret to a good life? Kenta smiled warmly his heart brimming with gratitude for the lessons he had learned from his beloved master. And as he began to speak, the gentle breeze seemed to whisper the timeless wisdom passed down through generations. A good life, dear child, is a life lived with love, kindness, and gratitude a life where every moment is cherished, and every action is guided by the light within our hearts. And so, the cycle continued a testament to the enduring power of wisdom shared from one generation to the next, echoing through time like the gentle rustling of leaves in the wind. In the quiet village nestled amidst the rolling hills of ancient Japan, the legacy of Master Takeshi and the young boy named Kenta lived on a reminder that the path to a good life begins with a humble wish and the courage to follow the wisdom of the heart. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.